بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وعن ابن مسعود رضي الله عنه قال دخلت على النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وهو يوعك فقلت يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم انك توعك وعكا شديدا انك توعك وعكا شديدا قال اجل اني اوعك كما يوعك رجلان منكم قلت ذلك ان لك اجرين قال اجل ذلك كذلك ما من مسلم يصيبه اذى شوكه فما فوقها الا كفر الله بها سيئاته وحطت عنه ذنوبه كما تحط الشجره ورقها متفق عليه والوعك مغذ الحمى الوعك مغذ الحمى وقيل الحمى سيدنا عبد الله بن مسعود ما الله تعالى بي بليز ويز هيم ريبورتد اي فيزيتد ذا ميسنجر ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم when he was suffering fever i said you seem to be suffering greatly o rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam replied yes i suffer as much as two persons amongst you i said is that because you have a double reward he replied alayhi salatu wasallam that he replied that that was so and then said no muslim is afflicted by a harm be it the pricking of a thorn or something more painful than that but allah thereby causes his sins to fall away just as a tree sheds its leaves al bukhari and muslim Prophets have to face more than ordinary troubles and for that for that reason the reward to bear them is also increased the reward to bear them is also increased thus the excess of hardships and grief is a sign of perfect faith and not a sign of Allah's displeasure because displeasure Because the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in a hadith that the anbiya are ashad dunas balaan hum al amthal wa al amthal they are tested more than any other one amongst the people and the more your iman the more one's iman is uh, the more one's iman is increase the more test one will meet sallallahu tabaraka wa ta'ala ان يسهل لنا امورنا في الظاهر والباطن ويفتح علينا فتوحات العارفين وان يرزقنا حسن الصبر وكمال الرضا على البليات وان يرزقنا العافيه في الدين والدنيا والاخره صلى الله على سيدنا محمد على لي حق قدره ومقداره العظيم امين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك